Do you want to create consistent characters in AI videos? Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I want to show you the brand new subject reference from Halo Video. And it is really nice, but it's also an alpha right now. I hope they're going to do some additional improvements. And we're going to look through the examples I have prepared for you and also talk about the state of video AI right now. Let's get started. So first I created here a character that has kind of a Pixar style and has a very unique look in this kind of like childlike character with the dark curly hair. So he's easily recognizable in different scenes. And as you can see here, this works pretty well. Now, you don't have any control over what kind of scene it is creating because this is not using any kind of image input for the scene. And also, the character is used as a headshot reference. So none of the body or the clothing is really making it consistently into the video. This is just about how the face looks. But as as you can see here in these different examples, we can recognize the character even though he might look a little bit different. And I have to say, for this to be text to video, mostly the results are pretty amazing. The character animation is very beautiful, even though, like I said, you don't have really any control over the composition or the movement inside of that scene. So that is still up to luck. But the results of the consistency, which is the most important part here, is very good. And of course, video AI is still very much evolving into what it can be. So right now, you basically have to use a lot of different tools to actually get the results you want to have and combine them in a good way. Now, one thing I also want to point out here is that based on the prompt you're writing, based on the scene and how Hailu is understanding it, you might get Get some very different results. For example, here you can see where it is not the style of a Pixar video, but actually more of a normal video character that is filmed with a camera. So even though the character still looks like our input image, it looks like a film instead of a Pixar style video. So you might want to put that into the prompt. And here are also examples where the video creation went completely in a different direction. It is Pixar style, but the character has a completely different body and a completely different artistic style of how the head ratio is to the body ratio. And again, here we have a very nice character. The animation overall looks pretty good, but the, the ears are just really crazy for that character. Now here I have also generated videos using my own face, actually an input that I have created with the Flux Lura from OpenArt. And the results are at the same time pretty amazing, pretty stunning, but also kind of hilarious. And it kind of like changes the beard length in the different scenes, which is a little bit strange. At the same time, I have to say, I'm pretty surprised how well I can recognize myself, even though it might not 100% look like me in all of those scenes. The results are still pretty good. Sometimes it's going to add glasses to my face, even though the input image didn't have that. So it takes some liberties and there is still a lot of room for improvement. But from what I can see here and from a single image to get these different perspectives of the head and all of that movement and animation is absolutely stunning. In this case here, it actually created multiple camera angles and I'm really happy with the result because even the overhead shot looks like me driving this Harley Davidson along the road and that is pretty amazing. Now, of course, it's important to point out that video AI still has a long way to go. And right now, if you want to create really good AI videos, you have to use a lot of different tools because all of them are good at a little bit of a different thing. For example, Hailu is really good at character animation, while Runway is very good at landscape or environment animation, camera zooming, very fast also 
also then of course you have flux video you have pika which can combine different elements ingredients as they call it to create to have more guidance over the results you want to create so there's a lot of different tools out there there's also wiggle there is export red you can use and so you have to combine basically all these tools it's complicated it's a lot of work but that is because everything is still in the early stages but also because getting good results will always be a difficult task to achieve because that is what art is it's just a process to work through until you get something that is unique amazing and stunning so let me know what you think about that in the comments and take into consideration this is an early alpha version thanks for watching and see you soon bye